is my pleasure to welcome to the stage Marjorie Ames. She is the head of the Cultural Programs Division in the Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs at the US Department of State, one of the major supporters of the project. Marjorie is a member of the Senior Foreign Service and has enjoyed a 20-year diplomatic career, including assignments to Suriname, the Netherlands, Russia and the United Kingdom. She's the recipient of numerous State Department awards, including three Superior Honor Awards. We are honored to have her here tonight and so grateful for her generous support. Oh, thank you, Claire. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much to Mills College for hosting not only this amazing celebration tonight, this culmination of a six-month-long journey for the 44 women who are participating. And thank you to all of the partner organizations, the museums and the universities who have brought so much to this evening to make it all possible. Claire mentioned my uh, experiences in the Foreign Service. I've spent most of the last 20 years overseas and have had the interesting experience of being a woman in a number of different cultures and still maintaining my Americanness and having to make adjustments, having to fight about some things that really uh, struck me and having, to, um, having the great privilege of being able to learn from other cultures about gender. And sitting here tonight, I'm just so struck by the intensity, uh, the, emotion, the emotional quality of the projects that the participants in this program have created. Young women speaking the economy. Have you heard their voices tonight? I have heard them. More important than my experiences overseas as a woman has been the opportunity to see with my own eyes the importance of person-to-person -person exchange. It has been a central feature of my personal experience and it is at the core of the State Department's support for international exchange programs. We have a very firmly held conviction that the relationships between people enhance the relationships between nations. And President Obama has charged us to engage, to engage with the world. We strive to do this in a, in a number of ways, and I, am, I have the great privilege of being able to do this through the arts and through cultural exchanges. This is one of the many reasons why the State Department is involved in supporting the museums and community collaborations abroad program with our fabulous partners, the American Association of Museums. This is a very unique experience. We join American institutions with museums all over the world. And it's not just the museums, it's not just the institutions that partner with each other, it's obviously the people in those institutions reaching beyond the walls of their museum into the communities to talk about issues of common interest, things like immigration, gender, the environment, new technology and how it affects our lives. And from what we have seen tonight, this is just a showcase of why the Museum and Community Collaborations Abroad program is so important. We're particularly excited to support young women speaking the economy because of the uh, several visionary aspects of it. We're grateful for the leadership of the International Museum of Women and pleased to be able to support its commitment to education and community building as we are to partner with Mills College for those same reasons. And by giving voice to women and their contributions to peace, security, and prosperity throughout the world. The 
connections that have been made between museums and universities are really inspiring. And I think lend a quality to this exchange program that is far greater than it would have been if it had been an arts-based exchange, for example, or an educational ex exchange. Combining the arts and education is tremendously powerful in the sense that together these institutions can inspire, they can challenge, they can ask questions, they can spark conversations about things that might be difficult to talk about otherwise. Young Women Speaking the Economy is truly groundbreaking in, in a couple of other senses and you'll see that we watched on screen what women in, in four very diverse countries created and brought to fruition. The idea that we can create these relationships virtually, make them sustainable virtually, add to them with, by meeting each other face to face, and then sending them out into the world for others to share is fantastic, amazing. And, of course, this, at the center of all of this are women's voices, raising women's voices. This is something that's very important to Secretary of State Hillary Rodham Clinton. I think you might know that. She's very passionate about women's empowerment. And at the State Department, we're dedicated to helping women reach their full potential President Holmgren mentioned holding up half the sky. In some places, it's holding up more than half the sky. And without women reaching their full potential, no society can justly or fully achieve or realize what it's meant to. We're so honored tonight to include Dr. Maya Suturo Ng in this celebration. And I would also like to welcome Yu Yi, because your illustrations are just so beautiful, and it's a pleasure to meet you here tonight. I have to express my profound gratitude to the 44 brave young women who've put their hearts and their smarts into exploring the very real and very difficult economic issues of our time. And especially for the women here tonight who have shared so deeply with us and so personally. This global exhibition shows that there's more that, the, that unites us than divides us. I thank you for being here and sharing it with us tonight and for celebrating this truly inspirational effort. Thank you, Marjorie. We're so grateful to the State Department for your leadership and your passion for elevating women's voices around the world.